Well, this airplane is a elite velocity. How did I get involved with it? Well, a good friend of mine, Joe Schiffero, I didn't know him at the time, but I went and was interested in building one of the velocities, and then I went out to Watertown, and I met him, older guy, real nice guy, and uh, we got to talking and started helping him build the airplane, started helped him, helping him through it, and I ordered my kit, and I started building mine. Oh, it's such a neat airplane. I mean, look at it. It's It's just got... Uh, sex appeal to it you know it's a neat airplane it's fun to fly it's very efficient it's a very clean airplane uh, this one I flew on Tuesday in the home built review and I was right out closer to the rocket velocity than what the crew was even I was only about 20 feet away from it when they fired it up and that's what everybody said on the line too they said oh you got it that's got to be really neat for you since you fly one and it was I just laid down and I watched it and it is pretty neat. This is, a, this is the same model that they're using right now, or that they demoed. This is the same model, only this has the rotary engine in it instead of the rocket. Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. The aircraft behind me is a Dyke Delta model JD2. This particular example was first built in 1972 and it took two and a half years to construct. In 1973, we were at Oshkosh, and the unique thing about that is it's a four-place aircraft. My wife, two kids, and myself flew from Riverside, California, to Dayton, Ohio, to New Jersey, back to Oshkosh, and back to Riverside. What an adventure. Of course, we mailed our clothing. <laughs> One change was all we took. <laughs> the first question is, everybody asks, what's it fly like? If you were to take a um, Cherokee 140 and double the stick forces and slow the roll rate down a little bit, that's pretty much what this aircraft flies like. On approach, it likes to go over the numbers at 100 miles per hour, by the way. Rotate into ground effect, you're doing 85, and it'll touch down 70 to 75, pretty much like the other high-performance home builds. After the rebuild, its cruise is about 180 to 185, and... Um, the economy cruise is about 173 at about 9.3 gallons an hour. From the mountains to the prairies. To the landings that we love. Garmin SVT, Synthetic Vision Technology. Oh, it was, uh, it's been something I've wanted to do for a long, long time. And uh, having uh, the opportunity to work with Daryl, you know, two people building the airplane together, I think, is not only a whole lot more fun, but when it comes to ideas and problem solving and being able to bounce ideas back and forth off of each other, I think that's one of the things that, that contributed, to, I think, to the success of this airplane and why we're proud of it, I think, because it's the best of the combination of ideas, I guess. Um, I guess for me, I've always wanted to do that uh, all of my life, is build my own airplane, and uh, I followed the, uh, the Lance Air kit planes for a long time and uh, this one fit all my needs. It's, uh, it's fun to build, it's uh, fast, and as you can see when you're done, it's a beautiful airplane. So uh, I like the technology that's in it, and uh, I like the, the, uh, the way the plane's built. It's built really well. I think uh, Jim and I had a lot of nights where we said, uh, let's sleep on it and uh, do, try it again tomorrow, because we weren't quite sure what we were going to do. Um, it took me three years, uh, a week and a month, but who's counting? Uh, to finish the plane and my goal was to fly it on my 50th birthday which was March 2007 and I missed that 
just by a couple of months. So I flew it on July 14th, 2007. So it had its first birthday here about, uh, well, about a month ago. We did everything on the airplane except for the paint and the upholstery. Yeah. But everything else, firewall forward, uh, electronics, avionics, the instrument panel, all of that is all scratch built from our own design and uh, fabrication. And uh, the whole thing was just fun.